what's you guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be playing FIFA 22 Piccadilly FC career mode yes um we are back on this career mode in our last episode we went winless uh four games three defeats one draw um so that leaves us um 19th in the premier league let's see who's winning the premier league all right chelsea in sixth place that's kind of a surprise leeds in champions league spot uh newcastle and uh, Leicester in European spot alongside Chelsea and West Ham. I think I've already said that. Um, United in third, City in second, and you know, Liverpool are first. I think we gifted Liverpool that first spot position. But anyway, we're going to look on um, kind of updating our squad, and I think I know exactly how to do it. We're going to make a few signings, maybe one or two, because the transfer window is about to end. Uh, but this player, I actually... Um, he used to be a beast at football. Um, I think you can tell by the O and the Z and the I. Mesut Ozil, an Arsenal... Maybe an Arsenal legend. I actually liked him when he played for Arsenal. Um, he actually looks a bit different from when he used to... Um, play at Arsenal. Um, we're gonna view him, and we also want to um, go for a defender. Um, and I think a good defender for us would be John Stones. I think. Um, right, uh, viewing the transfer hub as well. Um, Meta Ozil and John Stones. I've just realised Ozil can play Cam right mid, right wing uh, and left wing. Did not know that. And John Stones. So I think we're going to go for John Stones first. We're going to delegate to buy. Um, maybe drop that down a bit. And then, yeah, I think that should be good. Ozil, um, I guess we'll approach to buy... Oh, okay, they have reached, recently acquired the player. So they're not looking for him to leave. Will they... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So we'll just wait for John Stones' offer. Um, let me think of any other central attacking midfielders that could be good. Oh, we could go for Curtis Jones. Um, he's good. Or maybe uh, we have James Cancelo. I think we should actually go for Ruben Neves. Um, oops, do not mean to do that. All right, we have Ruben Neves right here. I think we should sign him as an absolute beast in a midfield. Um, I think we'll wait a bit for the John Stones offer, see if that goes through, and if it does, then that should go well. Um, right, we're playing through the whole month of September. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Um, the whole month of September and then we're going to move on to November and the next episode of this career mode series let's see if John Stones if the John Stones offer yep 53 million that's okay I think we can accept that offer Okay, we're gonna start negotiating with John Stones. I accidentally clicked back. Um, negotiate. He's definitely gonna be a first team player. Really good player, John Stones. Uh, there's our manager. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Accept that. Um, four years, we can accept that. Accept that right up for you, John Stones. No release clause, I can also accept that. Dude, are we gonna uh oh no, 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 no edit that we don't want it to be one pound i remember doing that with jordan pickford in oh boy did it not go well uh 70 million 
we don't really have that much to offer for him. 75! Okay, I can do with that. Um, Alright, so now we have John Stones on the team. Now, let's attempt to sign Ruben and Nevers. Ooh, how much money do we have in the bank to sign Ruben Nevers? Alright, so they receive they receive uh, twenty five percent of the money. Um, yeah, they receive twenty five percent of the money if we sell them. I think twenty four million. We'll go for that first. Add the sell on sell on clause. Oh, wow. <coughs> okay, so they just straight up stormed out. All right then. Um, is there any other central attacking materials we can buy? Um, uh, I mean, I would go for. <sighs> oh, I know who we could maybe go for. Um, Pulisic, Christian Pulisic. 22 years old, 82 rated. I think that's going to be a good signing for us. Um, right, Christian Pulisic. 42 million. I think we can approach to buy him. A lot of signings that we've made already. Um, Alright, I think we can meet like at a 37 million 500 deal maybe. Okay, that's our max we can offer. Wow. Okay, they just pulled out. They seem to not like the offer we offered them. Alright, so we're going to have to... I guess we're just going to have to play it out, see how well John Stones does for us, and we'll just simulate to our next game. Let's go. Jesse Moss has suffered an injury and will be out for up to six weeks. So, for six weeks now, we do not have one of our starting 11 players. Oh, he's our best centre-back as well. That's, that's a big shame. That's a very big shame. Oh, hey, Story's back, though. That's very good to know. If you don't know who Story is, he is our he, well. He in our first game against Brighton, he was a striker, but then he got injured um, due to that Lewis Dunk tactical. So now he's back in the team. Um, he's sharp. His sharpness is not good because he's just come recovered. Um, and Hayes is also there. We would like to save the ch changes to the team. And I think we should start to get into our first match of the episode. Let's check our chats first. Okay, store you might find room for me in teams that be much better ready to play. Yeah. Look but pressure on yourself, you'll always be first choice in that position. He'll get his chance. We're not going to play Sarah in this match. Um, he'll be on the reserves. But at least we got Story back. That's a good thing. We need to pick up on this form. Hey, there's John Stones. First impression, he's number two. Might have to change that. But we need to stop this um, record of conceding first in every single match we play. Uh, but we're at Goodison Park. Um... We're at their stadium, and yeah, Everton versus Piccadilly FC. Let's go. And kickoff takes place at Goodison Park. I think our away kit looks absolutely amazing. But one thing that bothers me about our away kit is that it looks um, a bit like United's away kit. We definitely did not copy off them. I just realised that now that it looks like United's uh, away kit. But here we are, 
Ant on the ball, on the right wing. Ant in the box. Go, Hayes. It's one new jet Piccadilly FC already. Okay. <clears throat> And it looks like we picked ourselves off the floor. Um, I know it's a sweat goal, but I mean, it's the first ever match we've ever played that we've scored first. So that's already a good achievement. Now we've been dominating Everton uh, already. We've come to Goodison Park and we are showing them who is boss. Piccadilly finally picking themselves off the floor and here's Ant again. This is great play from Piccadilly FC. Alright, here we go. Oh, uh, pen? Yes, it's a penalty. <coughs> we have a penalty. Oh my goodness. To go 2 0 up in 10 minutes. Um, the penalty scene is glitched. Okay, never mind. To go 2 0 up. Hayes, bottom corner. He's found the bottom corner. And that's his second goal within 10 minutes of, the, within 11 minutes of the game. He scores his second goal as Piccadilly FC go 2 nil up. Wow, look at this. After a disastrous first episode, we have really picked ourselves up off the floor. We've really rolled up our socks Oh, but as soon as I say that, El Ghazi threw off the bar. Wow. Will this just be our game? Here's Allen, though. El Ghazi again has another go. Blocked. Oh, but it's given to this guy. And it's saved by our keeper. Get in. What a save. This game has been full of domination. But it looks like Everton are now finding their groove. Here's Allen. Richarlison. Top player. In the box. And Townsend. Oh, that was, that was not great. But it was great for us. What a pass that was. Trying to play it to Ant. Back from injury. Edward Storey. Oh, you see, he finds the gap. It's Hayes again. It's saved again. John Stones. Crossed in by Stones. In the box! It's in! It's in! It's 3-0 Piccadilly FC. John Stones with the assist. This is incredible. Our first hat-trick of the whole season. I don't even know what to say. I am... I'm lost for words. John Stone. John Stones just completely dribbles out. It's a great ball in and Hayes just gets there. Pickford can't keep it out. And it's 3-0 Piccadilly FC. Um, <clears throat> last time we scored three goals, it ended up being a 3-3 draw. But this is in the first half we're talking about. And we're not going to be down at halftime. No way Everton can score three goals before the break. But here's Richarlison. Just... Richarlison! He's missed. Great run from Stones. Stones is top class player oh great defending from Keane to stick a leg out and to get the block oh two fake shots nice work oh Luca Dina. I think that was Luca Dina. Uh story in a box punched away by the keeper corner Piccadilly Another short corner, it doesn't work this time. Here's Townsend to Richarlison, Everton looking to break. They are, El Ghazi, great defending, but couldn't keep the ball, couldn't keep possession. Coles gets done, and it's you know, it was offside anyway, but it's a horrendous shot. And Everton, losing horrendously to a team that currently is fighting relegation Everton are quite high up in the table I believe but here's um, a guy I've never heard of oh what a save it's a double save cleared away kind of 
Okay, wow. Our keeper's just turned into Prime David De Gea. His story on his return. Just couldn't get ahead of his man. Oh, here's a random player I don't know. And Everton have struck back. Ref, it should have been half time though. That's well, that's three minutes into stoppage time. And it was only meant to be one minute. Oh well, 3 1 against Everton at the break. Piccadilly lead. What an incredible um, lead we have here. Mm -hmm. Nice little kick ups, kind of flicking it up. Um, Ant trying to create space and gets up first though. That's a nice part. Oh, uh oh. What happened there? Can't even remember what happened. But something bad happened. I think he might have slipped with the ball or something. Almost did the Gerard slip. That would have. That would not have been good. Liverpool have signed a new player though. Cleared away by the keeper. Hedda. Ben Yara. Oh, here's Hayes. He's already scored three. Could maybe set up for the assist. Ah, uh, that was a good piece of play from Piccadilly, but now they could, Everton can break. Uh-oh, this is not good. Oh, he's dribbling away. Could cross it in. He stayed with his man. Dribbling all the way. And he somehow fumbled that. Over the bar, over the fence, over the stadium. Oh, his story. On his return, what a story this would be. Goal! Edward's story on his return. His first ever goal for the club. And it, of course, has to be on his return. 4-1 against Everton. Against the Toffees. Oh, my goodness gracious me. This is just scintillating football. Look at this. No need to pass. Great finish. Down, Richardson. Random guy, goal. Everton strike back. Especially how he just crossed it in like a beast, dude. Oh, mistake defensively. A defensive mistake, I meant. K shoots. And Hayes. It's a mistake between Edison, sorry, it's a mistake between Pickford and Yeri Mina and Hayes gets his fourth goal of the game. That is the dodgiest goal I've ever seen. Hold on, let's actually watch the replay for this one. This is incredible. The JNRX Games fans are celebrating like crazy. Pickford dies and then the defender, oh, that's just unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. And then Hayes is just there to bang it in the net. Or maybe it might not be 5 2. Townsend still going. Oh wow, Charleston's missed the header. The amount of chances um, this team Everton have missed. They could have easily won this game. Or they could have drawn 5 5 with the amount of chances they've wasted. But Piccadilly FC with the first victory of the season comes from that man, Sebastian Hayes, with four goals in a single game. That might even put him up front for the golden boot already. This goal was the first goal. It was a sweat goal. We were kind of struggling, but we were dominating. And wow, five to the gun for Piccadilly FC. Everton two, Piccadilly FC five. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling good for the post-match interview. Sebastian Hayes has been top-notch. Amazing. Outstanding. Some questions regarding the match. Oh, uh, don't forget John Stones, dude. Incredible player. Was that Davy a bit of a letdown? What? What do you mean was that a bit of a letdown? That was an amazing Davy. You got an assist. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Hayes is a 
can't play as a bastion, especially today. He's a special talent. Yep. Thank you for your time. I will not take any more questions. What do you mean you thought you could have made a difference? We destroyed Everton without you. But you know what? Wasn't the right opponent. Thanks for pushing me back into action at last. I definitely felt ready. It was the right decision, wasn't I? Four goals Hayes rips apart Everton's defence. Yeah, he did indeed. Newcastle suffered two one defeat against Leeds. Um not really much news going on here. I think we should have put our team in I think we should have put our team in the Europa League. Um like we did with the Wolves, but you know it is what it is. Um should we change the kits? Red versus orange, let's see what it look like. Would it be a kit clash? Um I'm hoping not, but our second kit looks just amazing dude. That should be fine. Yeah, we're gonna roll with that. But if it's bad then oh oh well. But uh, Piccadilly FC versus Arsenal. Um yeah, let's get into it. Alright, Sebastian Hayes scored four goals in his last game. Alright, look how good he's looking. And guess where we are live from? We are live from the one and only JNRX Arena. <clears throat> look at the players walking out. Look at the that pitch actually does look amazing. In my opinion, it kind of does look plain. But at the end of the season, we get to change a lot of things. Look at the Arsenal players chatting to each other, and kick off begins. Yeah, there's no kick clash. The kits are fine. Um, can we get our first victory in this kit? Let's see. Arsenal are obviously um, going to be a tougher opponent than Everton. Actually, I don't know. Maybe Arsenal are easier. Depends. Really does depend on what kind of mood the team's in. But here's Tavares. Basuma. Arsenal signed Basuma. I did not know that. Or maybe I just forgot. Maybe I read that. I don't even remember that. But here's Basuma going all the way from Brighton. Basuma is coming from a team that um, drew against us. And Williams with another disappointing boot. A win in this game could be vital. Or even a draw. Volley attempt saved by the keeper. Smith Rowe going to attempt to cross it in again. Oh, nice little back heeled flick thing from I think it was from Lacazette anyway. All right, um, let's see. Story making the run. Can he get ahead of his man Gabriel? No, he can't. <sighs> Meanwhile, Norwich are beating Watford. We cannot. I feel like if Norwich win their game and we lose, they will climb out of the relegation and we'll go right bit and then we will go right back in and we do not want to go back in the relegation zone. Trust me. Here's Odegaard. We just have to defend really. Oh my goodness, he scored. How's keeper not saving that? Near post, FIFA's FIFA's near post is really glitched. There's no way you're scoring from there. But it's 1 0 Arsenal. Surprise, surprise, we are losing again. We have one exceptional game, and now we are either crumbling or maybe it's just Arsenal are a harder opponent. But you know what? It's only 1 0. And I think, look at that, look at that. No foul, no advantage. Ref, you give them advantage, but you don't give me. Are you not entertained? All right, Smith Rowe on the left wing. This could be dangerous. It is going to be dangerous. But it's cleared. What a save to deny Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Oh, Aubameyang's starting. Even FIFA knows Aubameyang should be starting. Oh my goodness, Gabriel almost heads Arsenal into a two-nil lead. 
Dude, Smith has recovered from all the tackles and it's headed over by Martin Odegaard. Stones all the way. That's a brilliant clearance slash boot up field from John Stones. <sighs> this game might be looking to be an L, you guys. Um, I don't think we've had a single shot on goal. That could change very soon. We just need to get into the right position. Like our defence has actually been better, has been good. But that near post goal should not have went in. And it's a brilliant save to deny Basuma. Williams again. Bro, he is insanely good. Pass. In the box. Could be deadly. Williams catches it. Probably not the best idea to put it on the floor. Sebastian Hayes almost getting a foot to it. I think Gabriel got ahead to that. Um, Martin Odegaard, the goal scorer for Arsenal, plays it to Aubameyang. Um, three minutes until half time. Could be a good attack. Oh, my days. Couldn't get the pass around him, though. L look at that defence, but then we can't seem to complete the passes. Look, okay. All oh, right. Nil nil, uh, sorry, one nil Arsenal, half time. Uh, half time, one nil again. But this game, we're actually looking. We're looking like we could actually snatch the three points or snatch a point from Arsenal. Sebastian Hayes. Oh, he's done him. Hayes. In the box. Oh, oh man. Look at this, dude. Like, bro, ref. Yeah, okay, I was about to say. I was about to be really angry. Oh, wow. John Stones has a crack. Oh, oh, oh. I think, how many shots is that? I think our second shot of the game. On the volley as well. I don't know who that was, but that was an incredible effort. And in the box, Barker. Oh. Story, maybe. Platt has a go. Oh, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're definitely pushing. K wants the short corner. K gets the short corner. In by K. Platt couldn't get there. Sarah in the middle. Not the best cross. Barker pass it. He wouldn't release the ball. And now here come Arsenal. Arsenal most likely will not score again. Idaho though. Oh, Odegaard. Saka could be a deadly Arsenal attack and it's saved by Williams. It's Hayes. Sebastian Hayes. Red card, ref. That's a red card. He stopped him. He stopped him in the break. Come on, dude. I think that was Lucas Vasquez. Since when did Arsenal have the money to buy him? Oh, come on. Dude, red card. Surely. Referee. Referee. What do we do? We shoot. That's what we do. K. K goes to the shot. Oh. Played it upfield. Ref. Ref! Dude. Arsenal are playing so, so dirty. No story. It's story. He's through. Oh no! I knew I should have shot, but then I didn't want to. Please, ref. Oh, it's Aubameyang. He's in. Saves it. Can't you just hold the ball? No! No, we're losing. We're gonna lose to Arsenal, dude. This is the most undeserved loss. Dude, yeah, we've lost. There's no point in playing now. Look. Ref's gonna blow his whistle. Oh, it's Idaho and it's 2 0. We fall to the ground. It's a really undeserved loss. We were totally the better team. Just the unfortunate ones. The amount of times Arsenal should have got a red card. Like, I know none of their goals. This, this game should have been a 0 0. 
or at least a win for us. We deserve to win. Look, how is he not saving that? Look at this. Look how broken this game is. There's no way you do that. How is that possible? Uh, it's just unfortunate. But anyway, we lost 2-0 to Arsenal. I really don't get how the referee did not give them a red card. They literally stopped us on the break. Referee, that should have been a clear and obvious red card. Um... The refereeing in this game, the goalkeeping in this game is broken. We're in 15th though. Customize, we're going to change the kits again. Um, you know what, we're keeping this kit. We want to win our first game in this kit. Let's go. Oh my goodness, this actually looks amazing. Should I just have it on this screen um, when we're about to play a match? Because this just looks way better than, looks way better than, than this. Leicester City versus Piccadilly. We are away. Can we get another win? Let's go. Sebastian Hayes, five goals, competition record 32. Oh, yeah, I think that was set by either Suarez or Mo Salah. So, um, he wants, I think he wants to beat the competition record as we kick off at the King Power Stadium. Oh, boom. Um,. Ah, it's been pulled back. Oh, come on, dude. Ref, not red. I mean, it is quite early for a red card, but come on, dude. Coles had to go! What have I just seen from our centre-back? Is he a centre-back? Wait, what? He's a centre-back, right? Did you see the power? Oh my goodness gracious me, look at this. Top corner, wait, I don't really think that was top corner. Can we get a better angle? This angle isn't great. Wow, Johnny Evans tries, Schmeichel flies. Brendan Rodgers is not happy about that. How you like that? Just for confirmation, he's actually a central defensive midfielder. I actually did not know that. Oh man, they keep on tackling him. This is really risky. I mean, we're not even a good, uh oh, yeah, Madison, just tackle him. Insane teams, they could just shoot. I don't know why they're not shooting. And Leicester failed to score. Let's do it again, dude. Oh! Saved by the keeper. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh my goodness, what a ball. Sorry for having no faith. It's a diving header. Wow, we have been insane. You know what? We're going to do something I normally don't do. Our defenders. Or our defensive players have been having shots. Um... You know, with this, I don't know why, but I feel comfortable in this game. So comfortable that I even brought out my keeper. Indeed, he's trying to chase Story down, but he crosses, he gets across in. Sebastian Hayes, straight at the keeper. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Could we get our first clean sheet? Maybe not. It's Rafa, it's top corner. And it's Leicester with the goal. Oh man. Game on, game on. Destroy it. Um, um, sorry. Wait, what? Um, James Madison almost finding the net. That's what I meant to say. Um, Ant could go all the way. He might go all the way. He does go all the way. And scores all the way. What a goal. I think that's his first ever goal. Um, yeah. Fantastic solo goal from Anderson. Antonson. 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 Yeah. Antonson. That's why we call him Ant, literally. His first, yeah, his first goal for the club. One goal in six matches. Even our CDM scored before him, though, so that's a bit shameful. Yep, I knew it. Oh. Ball in the middle. 
cleared great clearance I want Sebastian Hayes to score next fixtures against Norwich sneak peek of our um, next episode of this career story foul okay play on shoot Ooh, he had to take the shot as well well go that would have been <laughs> that Sebastian Hayes getting there in front of his man and yeah that should wrap up this victory story though oh wow that surely must that must surely wrap up the victory look at that Edward story we're just gonna call him Eddie Eddie with a fantastic strike oh that sizzler in the bottom corner amazing way to wrap up the victory literally though this has been incredible if we got that dub against Arsenal we could have had three wins in a row that would have been insane I want to get another goal this is going to be our last match of the episode sadly oh okay you want to ruin it on a bad note body cleared off the line yet again and it's full time. Leicester City one. Ha ha. Piccadilly FC three. Look at the manager shake hands. It was a great game. There's Jamie Vardy. Warm. There was Jamie. Um, Piccadilly with another victory of the episode. Leicester, though. Oh. 63 tackles in that game for Piccadilly FC uh, sorry my screen changed but wow um, I just want to say that I feel like Leicester were actually the more dominant side well yeah let's go into the post match, post -match interview forgetting what he's dummy oh Everton beating Norwich and Aston Villa lose uh, beating United 2-1 got time for a couple of questions it's safe to say that a lot of people were surprised to see you come out on top against a team flying high in the table. It was a good day for us, I'd say. Great work defensively. We showed what they were, what we were capable of. Up against Leicester City, this is a hard game to call. You must be delighted with the win. Were you always confident you come out on top? We took our chances and won, but that wasn't a good performance. Yeah, to be honest, we did take some of our chances, but it wasn't the best performance. Yeah, we can play better than that. Was that game you always felt in control of? We kept our shape really well. No further questions. We did thanks. actually make the team morale go down, but anyway, um. Hey Gaff, thanks for giving me the chance to show what to show what I can do. I feel like I'm ready for the regular games now. I hope you'll be thinking about me and the matches we've got coming up. Keep working at your game, we'll see. Alright, uh, so let's see what place we are on the table. Oh my goodness, okay. So it really shows that this Premier League is really difficult. Spurs barely. Spurs are doing terrible. Um so from nineteenth place all the way to twelfth place with seven points uh we increased by six points i think we only had one yeah we increased by six points um we're definitely doing better in the month of august you will have to see what games we have you already know we have norwich coming up but i didn't even know the fixtures but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i know this video will probably be long but thank you guys for watching the video if you did enjoy it smash like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video in um yeah the next video peace out